Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 14 box. Show me the money! Football Mixer. It's a random team break. Got a couple things going on here. There's the 14 boxes here. A couple things going on. We've got an early bird promo. If, you're, if you bought one of the first 18 spots, you get a chance to win a free spot. At the end of the break, there'll be a $300 break credit giveaway. This is so I can be reminded. I, I'll still probably forget. All right. And there's all the boxes right here. Right here, there are the first 18. So let's see. Uh, thank you, early birds. Let's see who grabs the worm after eight times, two and a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and two more times, right? Yep, seven and eighth and final time. Good luck, name on top is the early bird who gets the worm. It's going to be Jay, Jay Tinney. You are the early bird. You have caught the worm. Nom, nom, nom. Bam. There you go. Now, let's gather everybody's names and, and let's randomize a team to you. And also, congrats to the people that won spots in, that, in the two uh, translucent breaks that we've done. All right, now, let's roll this and randomize it. Six and a four, ten times. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. After ten times, we've got Scott Curry down to Conrad Boats. Right, yeah, Rex had a great idea yesterday about the late bird promo. Where was it, Rex? You have to, you have to give up spots or something like that? You got If you're late, you get the rotten egg. All right, six and a four, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Good luck, everybody. After ten times, we got the Minnesota Vikings down to the Titans. Oh, right, we randomized the, the late birds and then... Someone loses a spot? Man, brutal. All right. So, Scott, Vikings, Brian, Seahawks, Robert with the spot that you won, Cardinals, Jay with spot that you won in Translucent 13, Steelers, Leonard with the Packers, Jay with the Niners, Ryan with the Texans, John with the Chiefs, Cole, the last spot mojo, Denver Broncos. You're going oppo of me, too. Oppo, Joe, mojo, possibly. Chris Bunn with uh, the Browns. John McCall with the Ravens. Stephen K, Bills. Travis Melberg, Saints. Matt McCray, Bengals. Jay with the Giants. Scott with the Jets. Cole with the Panthers. Peter with the Patriots. John with the Chargers. Jay, your early bird spot, Rams. Alfred, Buccaneers. Evan with the Lions, Jack with the Dolphins, Nick Leslie, welcome back, Falcons, Jay with the Cowboys, Patrick K with the Raiders, Evan with the Eagles, Cole with the Bears, Justin with the Colts, Brian O with the Redskins, Peter with the Jaguars, and Conrad Boats with the Tennessee Titans. Okay, so I'm going to alphabetize by team. And feel free to trade if you'd like. Let me show you all the boxes right here just so you know. A lot of different years here. You know, think about the uh, autographed football that's back there. What, what? Think about the possibilities in there. There's honors football. You know what kind of stuff comes out of honors. Let me check the item description for all the different years as well. All right, I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a lot of trade chatter when we paused the video. A lot of trade chatter, but no deals got done. 
But good luck, everybody. Saturday the 12th, our 14 box. Show me the money! Football mixer. Cole, last spot mojo, Broncos. There's everybody else right there. No matter how you got in, whether it was an early bird or a translucent or whether you bought spots straight up, thank you very much, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. All right. I guess we'll just kind of start with... Let's start with that. Um, this college stuff, unless there's a checklist for it, it'll go to the team that they're currently on. I don't think there's a checklist for it. And um, our shipping team, our sorting and shipping team, will make sure they go to the right place. Good luck, everybody. The uh, Yankees, I think, kind of shocked the Astros here. They're up 7 nothing with an with an out in the bottom of the ninth. The Astros down to the last two outs. I don't know why I can't open this. What if I just lost my ability to rip packs? Just right here. Just got the yips. What if I just Rick and Keeled right here? Just like, I don't, don't know how to open packs anymore. That'd be disastrous. That would be not be good for my career, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you that. Thanks, Jack. I just saw, well, I, I brought him up because, actually, we got an autograph of his earlier, and um, out of Clearly Authentic, I think, and I just saw a special on him, just, just kind of broke down, it interviewed him at length, too, it just kind of broke down um, just a bit of his story and what he was going through and everything. It was pretty interesting, actually. It was a, it was a Fox, uh, Fox Sports story, I think. So check it out. They, there is even a scene where they give him an iPad to like rewatch some of those wild pitches there, and you can see him kind of cringe and put it down and be like, "All right, that's enough." But it seems to be good now. I mean, like just with life and with everything. I think he's think he's good now. Yeah, just a bad case of the yips for Rick and Keel. I think there was a lot of he he had a lot of uh, family issues when he was a kid growing up. I think there was a lot of a lot of stuff like that related to related to that. But yeah, he he came back as an outfielder. In fact, I think the day he hung it up. They, uh, you know, both his agent, Scott Boris, and the Cardinals organization were just like, we think you could be an outfielder. You want to do that? And then he gave it a shot, and he made it. Corey Smith. I forgot where he goes, but once again, our shipping and sorting team will make sure this goes to the right. It'll go to the team that he's currently on. Obviously, the bigger names will know exactly where they go as a, as a group here. Jack, I have not seen uh, the Breaking Bad movie, El Camino. I'll be honest with you, I've never seen more than two episodes of Breaking Bad. I tend not to be a TV series guy. So I've watched one random episode, which I don't remember much of, and then the series finale. 
which was okay. We've got Charles Walker. Yankees win. Yankees win. The Yankees win. Astros got three hit as well. That offense got three hit. What did Mike Tyson once say? Everyone has a plan until you get punched in the mouth. And there's Matt Collins, who I think is still an eagle. So tentatively to Evan. And the Fly Eagles fly. I think this is the first name I've recognized of these this, these guys. Yeah, brutal two games for the Cardinals. I guess the Nationals are for real. Got Calvin Munson. So that was two, 2017 Elite. All right, let's see. Let's get, uh, let's get this kind of bulky box out of the way. We're going to kind of skip around in years right here. Nice, so that soccer is official, excellent. There you go. Some trending information. Fourth time home team has been shut out in game one. Previous three losers all won the series. Interesting. Yeah, we got time to, if we want to squeeze in that last second half of the Bowman's best, we can definitely work that in tonight. That's only a, I mean, I kind of took my time the last break and it still only took me like 20 minutes. But we can easily squeeze that in, in the last, that last time slot right there. Points, sorry. So for the randomizer, at the very end, there's Austin Prohl and Judge Ito Smith. The name on top at the randomizer at the end, that's, I like that carry on Johnson, Derwin James. Um, the name on top will get $300 of break credit and the second slot will get uh, any and all points. We'll group all those together. And we've got Ronald Jones, Rookie Threads. That is for Alfred and the Buccaneers. 
Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. So the name on top will get that. Second name will get the 250 points. Set those aside over here. Let's get this mega box out of the way here. It's kind of a bulky box. 2017. Mega box. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. This Sunday only at your local convention center. Donruss Optic Mega Box. Ten exclusive red and yellow parallels in every box. Waking up at 9.30 Eastern tomorrow for uh, the Carolina-Tampa Bay game, speaking of Ronald Jones. 6.30 in L.A., so I don't, I don't think anybody's waking up for that game. Deonta Foreman, Chad Williams. So these are all the exclusive parallels that we'll set aside here. Wayne Gallman, Matthew Days, Joe Mixon. There you go, Cole. Cole saying, I, I live in Charlotte, love the Panthers. Nice. I love this guy. My homies, Patrick Mahomes. Rookie Phenom Relic for the Chiefs, John Ryder. Not numbered, but looks nice. My, uh, my grandparents used to live in Fayetteville. So, been there a couple times, North Carolina. I like it. It's nice. People are nice. All right, let's go. Let's find some Geno Smiths. Yeah, I think, and we've got a good contingent of uh, of North Carolinians of Tar Heels here. I think apple pie boxes right here. No, if I could voice activate the channel change here, Patrick Goodwin, then maybe I would. But you'll keep me posted. I used to know why why North Carolinians would be called Tar Heels. I'm pretty sure it was a Civil War thing. Maybe something to do with the tobacco industry. And so a lot of people who lived in North Carolina back then were working in the tobacco industry, so their, their shoes or their boots would be... Uh, Healed with tar, hence Tar Heels. Is that is that right? Am I remembering this correctly? North Carolinians, my fellow Tar Heels. Or am I completely off? It's a Civil War thing, right, Cole? Yeah, that's what Cole is saying. Oh, Alan's saying he thinks it's more about not surrendering easily. 
Like they were like their feet would be stuck in tar. They weren't going anywhere. All right, that makes a little more sense. All right. Travis Kelsey and Team Trios, Dwayne Bo, Jamal Charles, Dexter McCluster. Man, that's a that's only like what year is this? This is only like 2000 like it's 2013. That's a blast from the past right there. That Chiefs trio going to John Ryder. We got Quentin Patton. And that autograph right there. Niners. Remember Trent Richardson for sure. The uh, Cordell Patterson. 80 out of 99. Still has some tricks up his sleeves every once in a while. Scott Curry with the Vikings. We got Bjorn Werner out of 499. And there's Latavius Murray. Rookie auto Latavius Murray. Jaspies met him. We met him at a... Uh, some of you might remember this at a card show in Northern California a few years back. That's the 499 Spectrum Autographs. I think Alvin Kamara may be a little banged up. He could get some more looks this weekend, tomorrow. There's Cam Newton, Tyler Eifert to 99, and we got Joseph Randall. 31 out of 49, two-color patch and autograph for the boys. That goes to Chris Bunn. <laughs> Brian O is saying, who played for more teams, Cordero Patterson or Josh Cribbs? Cordero Patterson has played for a lot of teams. Dennis thinks Cribbs, though. All right, 2015 Prism. We think Carolina's going to win, right? I think what's the line on this game? I think Carolina's only... Carolina is currently, according to ESPN, minus two. We like Carolina minus two? I like Carolina minus two. I don't know, London games are weird. You don't know how, how someone or somebody takes to the, the international travel. It's a little bit of a hassle. Got to go through customs and stuff like that. It's a little weird. Dennis says, yes, Panthers getting some revenge. Love what uh, Christian McCaffrey is just... Christian McCaffrey, MVP, right? I feel like that's usually like... Uh, usually ends up being a quarterback award. Um... Rarely a wide receiver award. I feel like a running back definitely, definitely are in more of the mix for AP uh, Associated Press MVP, most valuable player. Um, Cole saying, got to move on from Cam Newton, though. Just not enough energy. Yeah, Cam is a, is, a, is a tricky one. I feel like we haven't really seen what he is since his sort of, I think injuries have hobbled him and he's never properly recovered from any injury. I think he gets another chance. Like, like let him let him relax right now. Let him get 100% healthy and then see what he can do. And then you give him another season and then if he gets injured again or gets injury prone or whatever, maybe you move on after that. But I'm going to breeze by those. So... And these, these are not numbered, but they will ship. They're considered inserts. But I, I think, I think Cam Newton has to get, get a chance to see what he to show what he can do healthy, before saying, "All right, we're done. We're starting Taylor Henneke or something like that." Kyle Allen.
There's Drees Anderson for the Niners, Jay Tinney. Brian, you don't think Nick Foles is going to get another, another chance? Well, not in Jacksonville. I feel like someone will still pick him up. Unless he's just like, you know, I'm going to hang him up. I feel like someone would some someone will give him a chance. There's one out of twenty five Derek Carr autograph. Nice. Out of 25, that's pretty strong right there. Just a year after his rookie season, but still pretty nice. Patrick Katzik, Patrick K with my Raiders. My three and two Raiders. Still question marks about is Derek Carr for the for the future, but so far he's doing okay. Carr does need a couple more weapons though. I think the knock on Carr is that after his first read, right? He's not very good with the second read, let alone getting even to the third read. And doesn't really extend plays. Not that he needs to be like a running quarterback or, you know, he needs to, he needs to try to extend plays a little bit more. So the sort of creativity, I think, or spontaneousness is maybe a little lacking. Philip Dorsett. So that's the knock on Derek Carr. Now, if he's that's often the system is clicking. Art Monk, nice. You know, and everything's time bright, and his first reads are always there, and blah blah blah. And then it, you know, then he's cruising. But I do like Josh Jacobs. I think Josh Jacobs is the guy who. Um, Is the guy who I think is going to keep defenses honest, and I think that'll help Derek Carr. So we'll see how the Raiders do after the bye. I still think they have like one or two more games on the road before they're even back in in Oakland. They've spent like a whole month on the road, which is kind of insane. I think their first home game since they started this like six game road trip isn't until like first first Sunday of November. I love Tyrell Williams. He was a little banged up. I don't think he featured in uh in London, but but yeah. The young the rookies, Keelan Das and Hunter Renfro are are raw. But they could use an Antonio Brown. Maybe Foles goes to Denver. Brian O's thinking, man, why, why can't John Owe pick a... I guess, you know, why wasn't Magic Johnson a good basketball coach? Why? It's one thing to, to have the... Why was Jordan not a good coach or a, maybe not even a good owner? I mean, it's one thing to be a great than another thing, I guess, to actually teach that. Waller is, Darren Waller is a stud. I mean, I guess Tyrell Williams and Darren Waller could be enough. Um, he, I don't know if you know his story, Brian, but there was uh, a lot of like drug alcohol issues with him. He was with the Ravens for, for a while, uh, for a little bit, and they were highly rated. They loved his size, speed, hands, intelligence, all that sort of stuff, but... Got, you know, I forget a lot of alcohol and drug issues and stuff like that, and kind of went away for a while, and then got clean and sort of revived his career with the Ray. Raiders picked him up and cleaned up, and it's a good story. Luke Keekley to two ninety nine. That's for the Panthers. That's going to go to Cole.
and when you have talent, that's that's a really good combination. Um, he, he's, he's so Darren Waller, yeah, kind of did came, come out of nowhere, but sort of has the the uh, the age and sort of the wisdom of, of sort of an older player, a veteran. I wish this guy didn't get hurt. You know, he, he comes into the game prepared and he was he was really good. He, he likes playing in these situations. At least for that one game. I know. Raiders and intelligence is Jack, he's a Raiders guy too. He's like, man, since when? Well Darren Waller is smart. But I mean that that's a classic Raider though, right, Jack? Like you know, like kind of a reclamation project, you know, like down and out. Nobody wanted him. Got into all this, you know, got into all these dark issues, you know. But but had, but now has revived his career under the under the flag of the silver and black, you know. We'll take your hungry, tired, and poor. Um, I think the L.A. fan base for the Raiders is very pleased that they're going to Vegas because people in L.A. like going to Vegas. <laughs> and in fact, Vegas is actually an hour or so closer to Los Angeles than Oakland. So in a way, they're coming home. <laughs> So I think people in Los Angeles are very happy about it. I don't know how how long how like Northern California residents how they feel about it. But I think they've been left before, you know, back in the day. So I think I think people have been kind of used to it. So if you stayed being a Raiders fan through original Oakland, L.A., back to Oakland, to Vegas, then I think you're going to be a Raiders fan for life. I mean. So I think whoever's not a Raider, I think they would have ditched him a long time ago with one of the first couple moves. T.J. Hawkins an autograph. Nice. To 299. Lions. That will be for Evan Levine. If the Raiders moved to like... If the Raiders, I think there were some rumblings about it. If they moved to like San Antonio or something, I don't think I'd be a Raiders fan. I would just be, I would just be, I would have no, no, I would just be neutral. And all these inserts and stuff. I know they're not numbered, so that's why I'm kind of breezing by those. But those will ship. Like Great Iron Kings will ship, and you know, rookie stuff will ship. Um, let's get let's get Legacy going here. We're getting, we're getting towards the end and towards the good stuff, boys and girls. Yeah, when Charger in San Diego, there were more Raiders fans at the game than Chargers. Man, I think that was a mistake. And it continues to look like a mistake. You know, you're... It's easy to... Uh, well, there's TJ Hawkinson out of that box. That's not so bad. First round tight end. Let's see what legacy has though. Um, I, I think I think the Chargers here up here in LA was a mistake. It should have been the Raiders because I don't think the. I, I mean, even the Rams are, are struggling still, and they were here. I think the Rams were are still struggling to get like more than half the stadium be Rams fans, you know. So. I 
Well, most fans are idiots, Jack. Unfortunately. That's 299, Mark asked now. Bob Gronkowski, who uh, was working for Fox, I guess. I saw him on the pregame show. He looked pretty, uh, pretty good. J.J. Arthiga Whiteside. That's how he pronounces it. J.J. Arthiga Whiteside going to the Eagles. Evan Levine with the Fly Eagles Fly. Sanford man. Saquon. Eagles are in Minnesota. That seems like an exciting game. Who do you think wins in that game, folks? I think uh, Nick and I took... Uh, we went with the uh, Eagles in our contest. Bo Jackson, timeless talents to 100. <laughs> right, C O L. Um, the contest, the circuit contest line that, that I got was plus three. We took them at plus three. Eric Dickerson to 199. Eric Metcalf, autograph, Browns. So old school Brown going to Chris Bunn. So Bonda Freeman at 299. There you go. There was your legacy. All right, uh, illusions. How about that? And we've got those boxes remaining right there on top. So if you guys are familiar with uh, the Westgate Super Contest, there's also a Circa Contest as well, a yearly football contest. Nick ja my colleague Nick Jaspi and I uh, split an entry on and our five we got to pick you pick five games each week and the winner gets a million bucks at the end of the season it's pretty hard I think you have to win at like a impossible clip like nearly like a 70% clip to, to try to win the whole thing but I guess that's why they're giving away so much money Went with uh, Miami plus three. Let's see how that works out. Philadelphia plus three. Arizona plus two and a half. Hosting the Falcons. Went with the Rams, minus three and a half. 
hosting the Niners and the Chargers against the banged up Pittsburgh team, Chargers minus seven. All right. Irv Smith Jr. to 50. Jim Kelly to 399. Rookie duels. There's Drew Locke. John Elway. A rookie idols duel. John Elway. Hoping that Drew Locke can be like John Elway. That goes to Cole and the Broncos. So, oh, we're going up against supercomputer algorithms from private hedge funds. So just don't play, don't try. It's fine. James Conner, two ninety nine. I mean, I guess I should just never play DraftKings again. Shining stars. To 50. And there's David Montgomery. It's an impact relic. I think the guy that won a couple years ago, the super contest anyway, was Starbucks Barista. JJ Watt to 299. I think it's rigged. I don't think it's rigged. Is it? There'd be no benefit for them to rig it. There is first impressions Miles Sanders, 48 out of 50, two color patch and autograph. Eagles, that'll be for Evan. Evan and the Eagles. J.J. Arthiga White, Arthiga White Side is how he pronounces it. Three ninety nine. Out of three ninety nine, there's Derrick Henry, and this autograph right here is Travis Homer for the Seahawks. Eighteen out of one ninety nine. All right, let's get the encased card here. So we got good luck, everybody. It's going to be boop, Justice Hill, 58 out of 99. Rookie endorsement auto. Justice being served to John McCall and the Ravens. All right, let's do 2016 Donner Signature Series. Chris Smith Jaguars. Yeah, I don't think it's rigged anymore. I mean, especially not after that that big incident a couple of years ago, and especially since DraftKings is trying to get into the sports book world, or they are in the sports book world. Peter Lombardo with the Jaguars. So, I, if anything, I think they'd be extra careful not to have any uh, anything fishy like that happen these days. We got Teron Ward for the Falcons. That'll be for Nick Leslie. We got Kenny Clark, 16 out of 25 for the Packers. That'll be for Leonard. And again, we're going to sleeve, or I'm going to see these now. We're going to top load all the hits before they get sorted and shipped out, of course. And we've got Joe Thomas. Nice. Four out of 50. Big O lineman Joe Thomas. Cleveland Browns. That will be for. Chris Bunn with the Browns. All right, so we got these guys left right here. So I'm going to do Gold Standard. Then we'll do Valiant. Then we'll do Immaculate Collegiate. We'll do Honors. Then we'll close out with that football. Then we'll give away some money. 
$300 of break credit is going to be won by someone in this break at the end of the break. So if you've been hitting, that could be a nice little cherry on top of the break. If you've not been hitting, then uh, it would be a great consolation prize. All right, we got Jordan Howard to 99. Cole Beasley to 49. We've got Mike Hughes, Golden Rookies autograph to 149. Remember, this is a 2018 Gold Standard football. Uh, Minnesota Vikings, that'll be for Scott Curry. There we go. Nice big hit right here. 20 out of 25. Four color patch. Gold ink autograph. That's Josh Allen. Buffalo. That's Stephen Kendrick, who won the spot in a translucent break, got randomized the Bills, and now gets the Josh Allen RPA. That is strong right there. We got... Telvin Smith, Jaguars. It's going to go to Peter. Is Josh Allen the real deal? Daniel Jones seems like the real deal. Len Dawson was the real deal. 104 out of 125. Uh, old KCQB John Ryder with that. And for my Raiders, that's Tim Brown. Gold gear, Tim A. 29 out of 125. Patrick K got randomized my Raiders. Kyle says needs to learn to take care of the ball a bit, then you'll be good. I, I feel like there was like a there's like a wild up and down in uh there was a wild up and down in Josh Allen's stock. I feel like pre draft everyone was like, Oh, I love Josh Allen. After the draft, everyone was like, oh, yeah, remember how Josh Allen's not that good? And then there was some, some hype again preseason. And then he didn't start the season very well. And then he tank, his like value sort of tanked. And then towards the end of the season, second half of the season, he was really good. Very productive, started using his legs more and stuff like that. And then now, I think he's, a, he's pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, still, still a little raw, but... Let's do it this way. But I think I think uh, with that Bills defense, they can work with that. All right, first one is Caden Smith. Now these will go to the teams that they're currently on, twenty-three out of seventy-five, and we'll look these up before they're sorted and shipped out. There's Brian Burns. I think he's a Panther. That'll be for Cole. Fifty-three out of seventy-five. There is, whoa, Daniel Jones, nice. All-American autograph, orange. 23 out of 50. I think Daniel Jones is the real deal, Holyfield. That'll be for Jay Tinney and the New York Football Giants. Nice. And there's a graded card. That's right, these Valiants have a, one graded card inside. It's, hey, speaking of Holyfield, there's Elijah Holyfield. 10, 10 on that Elijah Holyfield. Nice. 17 out of 50. Centering, edges, surface, a 10. Corners, 9, 5 for a pristine 10. Rising stock autograph. Elijah Holyfield, a, again, we'll look these up, but I'm just curious for now. I think he's a pan, panther? Yeah, Carolina Panther. That's right. That's Panthers also. Cole and Dennis letting me know. Yeah. Confirmed. What's he doing? Still says off uh, practice squad right now? He was waived on September 1 and then re-signed to the practice squad. So we'll see. We'll see if uh, we'll see if he makes it to the NFL. 
All right. Here's 2019 Immaculate Collegiate Football. All right, we got Baker Mayfield to 99. Does Baker Mayfield bounce back? Baker Mayfield needs to bounce back, right? That'd be good for the hobby against the Seahawks. We've got, there's my guy right here, Josh Jacobs. Three out of nine, Raiders. I think that'll have to go into a slider box. That will be for Patrick. Patrick K with the Raiders, the silver and black. 37 out of 99, Hakeem Butler from Iowa State. Now is in Arizona. Robert Gray with that one. Oh, man, imagine. I mean, jury's still out on, uh, on, jo on Baker Mayfield, Kyle, but Josh Allen on the Browns. Oh, and we were just talking about this guy. Nice, Cole, with the Panthers. 24 out of 30, Christian McCaffrey in his uh, Stanford gear. That's pretty nice. I don't see Christian McCaffrey too often after his rookie year. There you go, run CMC. Possible candidate for the uh, MVP this year. We've got... There's Hakeem Butler's autograph this time, Robert Gray, with the Cardinals, who won that spot in Translucent 13. And 41 out of 99, two-color patch and autograph, Miles Boykin. And that is for the Purple Birds. That's for John McCall and the Ravens. Play like a Raven today. All right. Here is 2018 Honors Football. This was the infamous, was it this one or the one before it? It was the infamous uh, Brandon Cooks to 99 set. Some of you may remember that. All right, there are the two encased cards right here. We'll slide those over and we'll snag the card in the bottom right here. Please be Brandon Cooks to 99. No, it's not. I think it was the previous year that was the Brandon Cooks 99 one. Anyway, there's Josh Allen. There's Sam Donald. He's back. I kind of like uh, the Jets plus seven. And that um, Josh Allen to 50. Stephen K saying the first time I ever hit something nice in a mixer. You're welcome. Well, I appreciate you continuing to try. All right. Your first one right here is Philip Lindsay. Nice rookie Philip Lindsay autograph. That is 23 out of 75. That's pretty nice. That will be for um, Cole with the Broncos. Last spot mojo. Oppo, this guy. All right, and the next one should be... Nice. Yeah, it is. Nice gold strike autograph, Dan Hampton. 66 out of 99. And this is an original, which is pretty cool. From 2015, Black Gold Football, which we have on the site, jazbeescasebreaks.com, half case random teams. Check it out. ABC, always be closing. That's for the Bears. That, oh, that's also for Cole. There you go, Cole. So the difference is, if you don't, if you remember the, the difference is there's ones that they, they, they make extra cards in case of just damage, loss, the truck turns over and catches on fire or something like that. 
So they create these extra cards, and then they had them autograph it a number of years later, they hand number it, but then they would put an honor sticker right here. Right, that would be the difference. This, as an original, is an actual one they, they literally bought back from somewhere and put it into the set. That's pretty cool. Those are, those are obviously more rare than the other ones. Okay. Now, for America's favorite game, Who Am I? Uh, well, I'll, 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 t I'll give you the quick story, Jack. It's worth a look. So, I think from 2016 honors, so was it a couple of years before this, there was someone, there was some, some creep, some scammer doing some break on Facebook or something like that. I, f I forget the details, but anyway. So, when he was doing the break, he kind of set up the box like this or something. He, saw, he sees what the encased card is. There's a lot of debate on what the encased card was takes the pack out of the bottom and has the card held up right here, which is Brandon Cook's number to 99, right? So he's saying to his audience, Brandon Cook's to 99. But while he's doing that, there's clearly some like shuffling happening back here. You know, some shuffling off camera, some replacing of a card or something, something like that. Um, while he's doing all that, he's saying Brandon Cook's to 99. And he's saying, oh, I was checking my text or responding to an email, which is all BS and lies. Um, and then he had apparently replaced a high value card. Some say it was like a Brady, but I don't think it was. He claims it wasn't. It's a whole thing. He's now dead to everybody. He is, greed has ruined his future reputation and future earnings. So he's a dumb. Hmm. Interesting. Does this have a team logo on here? No, there is no team logo attached to this, ladies and gentlemen. So, this will go to the team, and he's retired too. This will go to the team he played for the longest. Which I think would be that team. Right, okay. Get ready, folks. Who am I? I am. It's America's favorite game. We made this game up, obviously. Um, who am I? I am a retired quarterback in the NFL. Played for 11 seasons in the NFL. I'm 42 years old now. 6'4", 260. Uh, born in Ocala, Florida. I went to high school there, too. Went to UCF. Played for one, two, three, four, five. Well, one, two, three, four NFL teams my entire career, as well as um, a season with a uh, with a United Football League team, a UFL team. Three-time Pro Bowler, first uh, team All-Pro, second team All-Pro, an NFL passing leader in 2004, an NFL passing touchdowns leader in 2000, Forgot about it. Like, hey, it's pretty decent in the early 2000s. 149 touchdowns, 106 interceptions. A career 24,153 passing yards. Um, career 2,652 rushing yards. 34 rushing touchdowns. Drafted in 1999. Round one, pick 11. By the Vikings, and that's who it's going to go to. Yep. Rick TCB's got it. Edwards got it too. It's Dante Culpepper. This is a pretty cool looking one right here. Look at that. Big autograph on that panel. That's pretty sweet. You got the PSA. There's a PSA card in there too, which we'll send to you as well. There's Tagalibu's signature on the football. There it is. What I love about the draft, you guys have 90 seconds between picks. It's gonna be I got an arm like Culpepper. No, I don't have an arm like Culpepper. Scott Curry with the Minnesota Vikings. He did play for the Vikings the longest from 1999 to 2005. One quick season with the Dolphins in 06. He was with my Raiders for 07. With the Lions from 08 to 09 before doing 
the, his stint with the Sacramento Mountain Lions in the United Football League. And there you go. That's the way it, it ends, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give away some money. Thanks for joining the break. Really appreciate it. Now, if you didn't hit, I know a lot of you didn't. Let's see if we can get some uh, some break credit into your hands. Three hundred dollars of break credit into your hands. Winner take all. So let's go back to the list. Let's grab everyone from Robert down to Brian. Let's copy those names. And let's randomize it. Let's roll it and randomize it seven times. Lucky seven, two and a five. Name on top, 300 bucks of break credit. Second name, consolation prize, the 250 points that we pulled. After seven. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, good luck. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two points for Leonard, one, Peter Lombardo. Peter, I don't think I called your name all break. Maybe once. I think there was a Jaguars autograph in the signature series, but there you go, man. $300 of break credit going your way. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining everybody. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.